so what you want to run start running out all the peasants this way well maybe we find like a, no yeah. let's do it we need to we need to be able to cross the ocean first but just a swarm of peasants <laughs> we're gonna do it from this coast <laughs> we're not even gonna bother putting them on ships like or having any ship accompaniment they're just gonna sail straight out yeah into their doom the great peasant crusade it's like oh my god it really is <laughs> Now I should probably leave a couple. Oh, well, I'm, I think I'm, I think we'll be all right. I think I think we're pretty secure now. The land is pretty secure. Yeah, and we we'll always buy stuff if someone comes in. Yeah, like this. This is un unseen, but I think I'll just I'll slowly be building like things towards it. Um, peasants. Let's take all the peasants out of York. You can take the peasants out of York, but you can't take. York out of the peasants. There's a bob camp there. That's for the peasants. Yeah, that's true. We can send some peasants over there. Let's get. Oh, we we can upgrade the um the city watches now. Yeah, I noticed. I have been a little bit in places. What do they go into? They go into city guards. Oh, cool. Uh, guard reserves, and they they're just twice as much or even more suppressed. Wow. Yeah, whatever it is suppression. But it needs warfare XP. Oh my god, that's been using up okay, all the Okay, we've used XP. all of that now. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie. We had a lot of it. Okay. Oh, do so we want to take um, risks? Oh, yes. That's a good odd. Yeah, that is a good odds. What did it say? Oh no, did it happen or not? We don't, we don't know. We'll find out at the end, I guess. Oh no, we're going to have to capture some majestic views because... Oh, we get RXP at least. Oh, all right. Okay, uh, we can't do that because we don't have enough exploration <laughs> XP. <laughs> oh, we have we to should pay. have three at once. <laughs> I didn't realize we it was going to be one. so much. Yeah. I made a real mistake on this. <laughs> oh well. This is you're going to make mistakes. You can't. Yeah. Nothing. Can't do it all. Uh, now, what can we get? We can get the Grand Theater, which gives Ooh. us some arts XP. Absolutely. So let's start building some grand theatres, shall we? Um, we love the arts. Very nice. Grand theatres. This is a we are, we are all a, we are the patrons of the arts, aren't we? We are. All right. Okay. Conclusion. Um, okay, it's a ninety percent chance on success. A hundred diplomacy XP. We actually need to spend some diplomacy XP before we do this. Fifty culture. Complete expedition on failure. Reset expedition. Destroy explorer. Wow. Okay, so we need to. I, spend... I must say the reward isn't as good as I expected. We need to. Um, Fifty culture is nice, I guess. We need That's to good. actually. Before I do this, we do need to use this diplomacy XP. So I'm gonna have to yeah, very quickly yeah. just reload the auto save. Um, because oh. we just would have wasted load. Ooh, but instead of but in fact, let's just do that. We could just not load the auto save and just waste it anyway. Yeah, and just say it, we get it. a tolerance. So that goes into our social fabric and that gives us eight wealth per turn. Okay, nice. Not the Happy best, but so do all of the stats have uh, maxed out. Tolerance yes, thing. they can only go to 200. And I guess they have it, yeah. They're... They all have the in yeah, the ingenuity they go. That's right. cool. Yeah, in case you haven't got anything, I guess. Um, the peasants. Peasants are coming. This guy's got a merch <laughs> attached to him. Oh, God. Peasants. March onwards. It's a shame the peasants can't set up like their own Attack yeah. little town. XP! Peasant town. <laughs> They beat him. What's their XP at? Um, does it say? If you hover over the Combat. thing. Oh, it's six out of ten. Okay, cool. Okay, not bad for one barb. Not bad, yeah. Yeah, pretty good. And these guys have done it as well. Ooh. They fought a peasant, a barb even. The peasants are good. I forgot there's quite a lot of barbs still up in this area. So yeah, yeah, fact, we just kill them with peasants. This is quite a good place to double of our peasants. <laughs> yeah, we send them out for their combat expertise. All right, off you go, <laughs> lads. <laughs> I 
Okay, fine. These guys are making their way over. We're going to get an ingenuity thing soon. Yes. Was it ingenuity? Yeah. Uh, well, it's got a cultural thing now, actually. Oh, so that like we want to do the, um, what was it? Create town down here. No, 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 no. Right? Something else. Um, peaceful revolution. Oh, yeah. We haven't really, we've kind of finished this, though, I think. Yeah, yeah we don't really care about the rest of the things. Okay, peaceful revolution it is. Let's do it. Would we like to be an empire? Mm. Empires mm. build naval dominance and leverage that power to gain culture and wealth by concretely integrating exploiting vassals obtained on the warpath. Sounds like us. Feudal monarchies uh, grant greatly improves all aspects of its loyal vassals. All are mm. prosperous and fledge their fealty to the crown. Or republic. Republican governments build fewer, more populous, and powerful regions around their palazzos. Right, so I think that's if you didn't have any fa vassals. That's going, that's going tall. This looks like the vassal one, right? Um, Empire does feel like us, though, what we've done so far. Yeah, but we don't have any... It says naval dominance. We're going to work on that. Well, we can look at what they say anyway. So <laughs> this is feudal monarchy. I think we should probably do this one. But throne room, domain XP, increases vassal prosperity. Vassals build improvements faster. Increases terrain bonuses for vassals. Population of vassals. Government XP from vassals. Vassals, vassals, vassals. Everything about vassals. Okay. Empire... Cheaper vassal integration cost from Ooh. conquest. Galleon. Governor's Rule the seas. Office. This is very Napoleon, isn't it? You get Galleon. Hmm. I think we want to go full on this. I think you might be right. we got a lot of vassals. And the domain XP maximum is increased to 300. Oh, which one of these shall we get straight away? Um, um, times two vassal wealth improvements and population. Times two vassal imp internal improvement points. Times, and this is vassal prosperity per turn. We don't need vassal prosperity. We got there already full anyway. Yeah. I guess this one is the important one, right? Vassal peasantry. Peasantry. Of course. Sorry, I should have read You're it. You're good at peasantry. I should have read it. Of course. The peasantry. <laughs> okay, and then we'll work on all the other peasants. Yeah. This is. I guess it's the culture power where you can just buff your population of all all of them. Mm. Maybe we want to wait till they get to like 10 before we even integrate them. Do you know what I mean? Although this is at 20. I mean, seems. I mean, is that the max? It says it's it the is, max yeah. over here. Delhi seems to be at the max of five as well. Well, that's weird. I think it's a possibly to do with some of the buildings they don't have. Do you see what I mean? Well, just let them do it. Like, we don't want to integrate anything else now, do we? Now we just pick the vassal thing. No, no, we don't. Um, there's so much moves to continue here. All right, we'll we'll just keep going towards the sea, forever, forever to the sea. I'm sending everyone. <laughs> well, I think we're gonna need everyone, right? If we're gonna send a massive invasion fleet, you know, yeah. you've not seen me play Civ before. <laughs> We're gonna have to, uh, we've got no exploration XP. Oh no! Oh, he has complete, we've got enough. He's completed that one. He's that's completed why. it, yeah, it's done. He completed it. So mate. he doesn't go away, that's interesting. Not if he wins it. He does die mm. if he fails it. So this guy is on stage three of four. Risk, 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 risk. Uh, yeah, risks. <laughs> okay, we'll find out whether that works next time. Okay, these peasants are Kill. fighting. You can dub them. You can dub them. Oh, okay. Let's dub one of them. You can dub them all. Oh, look at that! Oh my! Fucking knight God. army out of nowhere. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my God! The peasants they just became knights. That's <laughs> and they healed to full as well. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, this is so frightening. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's just get everyone to continue their moves across country. I would like it if you got I want to get a whole Spartan group together because both of them at the moment have have um 
berserkers in them. All right, I'll, I'll, once I get to the coast, I'll yeah, I'll get everyone assigned. Organize all the armies. Um, I guess we want to run around the side. Oh my goodness me! <laughs> it's got the trader with it. Some of these peasants are not going to be able to fight anything by the time they get to the north. Well, no, we'll fight when we get there. And some of them are going to get wiped out. Yeah. It's to be expected. Um. Okay. Vassal hey. autonomy. Plus 10% vassal border expansion per turn. Plus 2.5% vassal population what? per turn. That's amazing. That's where have you been my whole life? Don't use these to kill anything. Use the peasants. <laughs> I know. I'm not gonna. Yeah. Okay. You can dub them now. I think. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's free as well. It's just free. Like, isn't that crazy? I thought it would cost like money or like combat uh, or like warfare XP or something. But it's just free. It's actually <laughs> insane. <laughs> All right, well, we've got these berserkers are coming and these Spartans are coming um, from that end. Then we've got this is an explorer. He's going to the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, he's ranked up. This is the explorer who rolled the dice. 70% chance. More diplomacy XP. And 50 knowledge. Great. Success. <laughs> okay, great. So these two are done. All right, these bottom two. Yeah. So he. So I thought they would change hands to us, but they don't. It's just whoever first, no, first found them. It's it's strange. I thought they would get deleted as well, mm. or like get some sort of marker on them to show that they're done. But no. Uh, I think I might sail these guys round our coast, because um, I think that'll be quicker than walking up. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Let's get them in. Let's get them all on board. Because also a boat might attack them. You know. That's true. Ooh. Hello. In they go. They're gonna be knights now. <laughs> dub them, <laughs> sir peasant. <laughs> I dub these, sir peasant. <laughs> I'm not even gonna take this out because I might want more of my peasants to kill it. Yeah. This was an insane idea, by the way. <laughs> Can I just say, like, this is our regular <laughs> army just slogging through the forest to the south. Yeah. How much from there? How much power we're at now? Kind of too late. Yeah, uh, you go to the diplomacy thing. We look at everyone. Can't remember where that button was. Oh, top right, the little flag. Oh yeah, Rome. Two thousand three hundred forty-eight. Wow. So we would have reached the age of conquest then. Two sets of knights has really, really helped us. <laughs> so you you didn't want to. So we got to build that town though, or I guess we could build um more of these outposts. I'd like to get the town on gold land just so we can get that going. Um, a town on gold. What, what was the up? Or, or click, go back to that castle. Yeah. What are the things? Revert to pioneer, change linked region. Oh, you can link it to a region. Okay. Oh, I see. So it's if it generates any goods, I guess it sends them to a town. Oh, so you can improve. You can improve. Can you improve the tiles around it then? Maybe. No. Let's try. Oh, you can. Well, I don't know. I haven't actually selected one yet. Oh. Um. I assume that wants to be a farm, right? So if we get yeah. farmland, cloud farm. farm. No, you no, can't. can't. What goods can it produce then? Weird. Um. Well, oh, you might better have guys like working, like we do with the fishing boats. You know what? I, I go back, go to the tech tree. Yeah. And go right back to the beginning. Workers. We have workers. Yeah, we skipped scouting and archers, which we still don't need. I was wondering if there was a thing like the um, work boat that it would be like a ground thing. That we skipped bribe, diplomacy domain tower, and claim territory exploration domain power. It's not great. Yeah. Ability to spend wealth to rush the culture meter. Oops. Mm. Well, we probably should have got this one. Um, maybe we should do just now, because it's probably pretty important. Eh. Smelting is for the iron, which we still haven't got. We should get that. Barbarism is for... Enlist barbarians. We never did that. This is the university one to get extra knowledge. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. And this is the one to get the cog and fishing, better upgraded fishing boats. Pretty good as well. Right. And now we're into finance. But we can get is, navigation, which is a better boats, right? 
Yeah, it is. It's a harbour. But I think this improves your... Oh, yeah, we need this to be able to go onto deep water. Yes, that's what we're doing this for. I remember. Yeah. Okay, cool. We got a plan. Do you? We're going to let them attack our knights if they want to. But mostly we're just running the peasants up at them as fast as we can. Yeah. So these... The knights are just there. Are... Come on, lads, they're over here! Here's another set of peasants coming in. Fresh set of peasants. They died. They didn't. Oh, you can't dub them. Oh, they're fresh. One of them mm. died. One of them died. A peasant died. Our first peasant death. Oh, I'm sad now. Well, that's going to happen, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think we can avoid that completely. I think we, we should just take out these camps. Yeah. There's so many peasants around. So many bad guys around. Let's just start, let's start killing all these camps. Clearing this land out. In the name of the king... Innovation. Because they can give us some real good bonuses, that can. Get on board a boat. Get on board a boat. Okay. More peasants coming to the sea. <laughs> More peasants coming around the top. Um, the, the main armies slowly slugging their way across land. Uh, some some side armies with some spears such vast armies we've got in this game it's actually insane love it okay what do you want to fight an explorer he's going to the great barrier reef and he's finished his now as well so he can now move to the next one okay now we've built a civic monument in york so we can build a few other options we can build a grand theater for some arts XP. Why not? York is not the most produ productive city. Oh my god, the border of. Um... Yeah, because we built the. Oh, we didn't build the town yet, and it's still growing. And they can't go to the ocean yet. No, oh, they will be able to soon. Let's bring these peasants in. Can we do a. the culture Eureka for this age? Yes. You want to use it? Why, what do you want a Eureka for? Oh, actually, let's save it. Let's go. Let's do. um. Let's build a town in, in Gold Town. Gateshead. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a... Just right in between those rocks. It'll be a real nice spot for it. Oh. Wind Chelsea. Wind Chelsea. And we do need... Um, Border growth. All the rest of it. Can you build a civic monument in Warpulf? Good idea. I think we've oh, already built it. it. Yeah, look. Yeah, that's already got it. Is there anything else that does that? There will be an upgrade to it, but I mean, that's the tier 2 mm -hmm. upgrade. So... Tricky, tricky, tricky. Birmingham is okay. Bad sanitation again. So we need another mid yeah. Oh, gold. Put it in this Stamford. <laughs> yeah, I guess we can knock it down eventually and replace it with something better. Yeah, yeah. You can just delete it. Um... Do we want a uh, a quarry? Mm, I guess. That'll give us the marble, which is good for something. Two marble <laughs> is good to production. I guess maybe with there's like a stone cutter or something. Yeah, I said there was a building that might be one already. Yeah, uh, right. let's, look in, let's look in here instead. Metal work. So there's a, that's the only thing we've got for metal Jewel, work. Stone work. Stone, stone cutter. cutter. There you go. Converts one limestone and marble to one stone bricks. Creates engineering XP. We could have two of those and make engineering XP as well. Sure. Uh, do you want me to put it on this this tile? Yeah, fuck with here. Uh, stone work, stone cutter. Cool. Alright, so let's lock those guys in. Two stone cutters, a quarry. Okay, that seems like that seems productive. Oh, we would just put an extra dude in the midden. And lock those in as well. Okay. Oh, we're still getting luxuries, even though we just took them off the villa. Yeah, I must get them from somewhere else, though. Yeah, we're getting them from a building, I think. Must be. I think the villa might just generically give give stuff on its own as well. Oh, because well, they're not being worked, right? Doesn't need to be worked. All right. We're, I think we're in good shape here. 
Wow, this is generating a lot of resources, isn't it? Look at all this stuff. And it's going to grow in next turn as well. Grand Theatre's coming in three turns. Got 74 arts experience. Yeah, I see they really exploded, haven't they? I really want to get this one next. The set, okay. Start spawning settlers. Let's do it. Um, it will tank the population of the city, though. Is it going to be a... It says arts culture power, so it will use our arts instead of our yeah, um, yeah, yeah. our government, which is good. I mean, we, could, we can still, of course, spawn regular settles in, but I think I don't we, know if we want to tank our pops too much. Oh, but we might be able to do it in the capital, like um, vassal capitals, maybe. Oh, that would be really good. Yeah, possible. I don't know. Um, Tackle those peasants. Let's get them upgraded. I think I think they might have accidentally already gone. No. Oh. Right, you take that out. Splat. <laughs> Send the production back to Birmingham. All right, these peasants need to go in. Oh, no, these are berserkers. Oh, my bad. Those are peasants. Make an attack. Yeah. Oh. They didn't. Well, they, didn't they, they, could, they could attack, but through this tile. Do you see what I mean? Oh. They couldn't actually attack. It was my bad, sorry. Well, I, I just couldn't attack with them from there. This fleet is coming along. There's two guys next to this Grand Canyon. Maybe they can double explore it. Oh. What do you mean, ew? Look at this fleet of peasants. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Double explore. Alright. Warfare or diplomacy XP? Whoa. I don't know. War what do you pick? Diplomacy, diplomacy. okay. Let me hit a two hundred we'll get a thing at it's least. It's kinda of probably worse. Great Barrier Reef. Oh no, we haven't oh, got exgenerate or explorer kicks. We're gonna have to take the scenic route. <laughs> That's alright, we'll get there. Um Spartans? Oh, wait, you want me to prune the Berserker off, don't you? Yeah, I want to combine the Spartan groups back together. So they fight as, as one, a big long shield line. Mm-hmm. Oh, the peasants killed them. Oh, can they be can they be dubbed? Can peasants mm -hmm. be dubbed? Can they be dubbed? Not quite. No, not yet. Oh, now, do we need to go into the tech tree? And get deep, deep forest walking. Uh, no. You don't think so? No. Those forests are scary. We're never gonna go in them. <laughs> Send the peasants in, Lewis. Send them in. I'm not sending them into the camp. I'm sending them into these chumps. Yeah, that's fine. They almost get wiped out. <laughs> they can't be dubbed yet. God damn it. They have such bad morale. Okay. Okay, on we go. It wouldn't be a lot of work to just go back and get that tech, you know. I'm not saying we do it now, but like... The forest is too scary. I don't want to enter the forest. There's a bookie. We need to get deep ocean walking. Yeah, that's coming though. Like, soon. Well, I think is I need to assemble everything on the coast before I need it anyway. Yeah. Um, so I think it's we got a little bit of time. <laughs> I can't get through this. I can't get through this forest. <laughs> go, let's go around it. <laughs> the barbs know it's safe in the forests. <laughs> they can't be followed. <laughs> okay, they're embarked. This guy's working on the Great Barrier Reef. Uh, we can take some more arts XP no, let's if you pay, like. let's pay the, the 30, I guess. Alright, fine. You want to get these done. That makes yeah. a bit sense. We're going to have to do another tolerance here in the old diplomacy in a minute. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool, don't mind. Uh, should we add some exploration to this one? Why not? Oh, ask about El Dorado. Search for a golden Ooh. city. This one's way cooler. The frozen ones are shit. El Dorado. Grand Canyon. Yeah, but the frozen ones just give loads of diplomacy. 
Climb the slopes. Hmm. They're both doing it. Can that is that a thing? Now I wonder if it's better just to farm these for the XP. Do you know what I mean? Because these explorers are really cheap. We can you, you can't repeat it though when you've done it, right? Oh, if it fails, then is it failed forever? I guess so. Well, the explorer gets. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, you're probably right. It probably does fail it forever. It said it resets it, but I think once it's four out of four, it's done. Oh. Poor old Greece. <laughs> Alright, treasury done in Memphis. Next up, Grand Theatre. Hell yeah. It's gonna take a while, but... I think that's one of the things we've neglected is definitely, like, the production. The power of production in the city. Well, like, we skipped we skipped iron and smelting. <laughs> yeah, Memphis... Ages. And even Memphis doesn't have, like, a logging camp or anything. Do you know what I mean? It's not really... Hmm. Oh. Can they attack that? Yeah, they probably can. Send them in! Peasants! <laughs> uh... What's happening? Oh, maybe they can't attack, because it's guess a transport they just, versus they both a transport. Just, they, they're both transports and they both just sat there looking at each other because they didn't have weapons. <laughs> okay, finance <laughs> is quite done. Funny. All right, we can upgrade our, our um, gold stuff. Textile mills, we can build warehouses oh, textile, as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah so that's that. really good. And then we're going to get this... Let's get navigation next. Okay, yes. Well, we're up to 25 um, uh, influence per turn, which is pretty big. These can be dubbed. I dub thee. Sir Knight! Sir Peasant! I dub thee Sir Peasant! We can kill these barbs. We can get 25 improvement points. Oh my god, we're at the we have, We're at max. We're at max. Let's go and spend some of them. Yeah, god. Okay, let's do it now. Remember, we can improve vassals as well. Uh, I don't think we can. Can't? I thought we were doing that before. No, we improved Bhopal before because that's ours. Yeah, but it was, it was, va it was, it was a vassal at the time. I don't think it was. No, oh. I think we controlled it. So I just upgraded okay. all the textile, uh, the weavers to textile mills. So how does the ratios work now? Uh, well, textile mill two for okay. Oh, what are they making? Oh shit! We oh shit! We messed up. I fucked it. <laughs> It's fucked. So we have to undo one of them. So hang on, okay. Let me just undo that. Okay. Well, we could just get rid of the tapestry weavers altogether now, because the textile mills are making the arts XP. I was gonna load an auto save, but actually, let me just check what I did here. So these are the new textile mills. So these were these are weavers that convert wool. Yeah. To cloth or cotton. But the, when you upgrade them. The textile mills, the two textiles, are actually using. But they are producing one. Um... Oh, it's just a graphical bug. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So this means wool, cotton, or flax. Yeah. I see. So it's wool, cotton, or flax, right? But they. But the the thing is, the weavers need cloth. But they're not making cloth. They're making textiles. Yes. Which is nine wealth, but an arts XP. Yeah, but we get more XP. We got, we got more XP from the tapestry weavers because each one makes one art XP. Um, and a text and a weaver can support two. Yes. So what do we want to do? I think we don't upgrade them, and we build more tapestry weavers. Surely this is just better, though. Why is it better? We get more wealth, for sure, but we get less... We get less, um... We get arts XP. Yeah, but... Okay, so, so this gives us one arts XP, right? Yeah. Per... Per wool. Per cloth. Per cloth, yes. Per, which is per and, wool. But in each weaver can make two cloth. We have four weavers... So we can support eight tapestry weavers. So are you saying this whole re this whole tech we got was actually not? We don't want it. Well, unless uh, th and there might be an up upgraded tapestry weaver at some point that will turn textiles into better RXP. Oh, I see. Okay. We have no use for textiles right now. 
is the problem. Uh, okay, sorry, this is so confusing. So, right, this this icon and, and this icon are different. This is cloth, and this is any kind of pre-cloth cloth, which is like this, yeah. or the string from the, the sheep. We do actually yeah. have spare string from the sheep anyway, so we can build at least one more. We can have another weaver, but... I mean, to be fair, like, we don't have the space for all the tapestry weavers right now, do we? How many can we... We just build as many as you can right now. Tapestry, tapestry weaver. Weavers. Um, tapestry weaver. So that's four. That's using all of it currently. Yeah, but that's because we've got the textile mill that you upgraded. Yeah, we've got two textile mills and, so that's, and two weavers. So this is actually perfect. Yeah, we could get, we could, we've got space for another weaver. Well, we've got space for an, another, um, well, because the, the, the string isn't being used, right? Yeah, so we've got, we can get another weaver then. So we can put at least one more weaver down. But if we put the weaver mm. down, it won't get used. Um, do, you see, do you see what I mean? Um, yeah. In fact, I don't think we can even build weavers anymore. The, the, no, the textile mill uses the raw wool. So you can make another te textile mill. Just you don't need to have a weaver. I I see what. So I should just put one textile mill down because that still yeah. gets an art XP. So you actually can't build weavers anymore. That's weird because we're not we, we can't use. Does the tapestry weaver can it use? Can it use textiles? textiles? No, well, no, it doesn't. Look no, like it just it. uses cloth. So it's like it's cut out the production for the tapestry weaver entirely. Yes, weird. and it looks like we can't build original weavers anymore. We can only no. build the advanced versions. Well, luckily we've got we've we've kept those two. We're just so gonna have to leave enough. those arrows there forever. Yeah, that's annoying. Until we get a better, <laughs> something, something a better that upgrade of the uh, tapestry weaver. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, that's strange. I mean, we still haven't upgraded these uh, olives groves, but I don't think we have the space for it anyway currently. No. Um, and even if we did, we'd probably want them to work that ploughed farm. Uh, this needs a midden, though, actually, here. Have we not built a midden heap? Uh, no, there is... I, I guess we can put it on the olives. I guess so. <laughs> that feels bad. <laughs> <Grizzly in later>. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, the olives stay there. It's not like in Civ where they get destroyed or whatever. And we do need some faith still as well. Oh, yeah, we really do. Holy sight. We want to carry on growing. But that's, I think, what we can do with the... Oh, no, we can't export these stupid things, can we? No. You know, just texts can't be exported. And we're missing two cloth here as well in Memphis. Yeah? Yeah. Well, oh, there's a, there's a flax thing that's unimproved. So we have a similar situation here. Ah, yes. Okay. Okay. Hang on, that's not that's not solved the problem. I think we, I think whatever we're using. Oh, there's no one in the weaver. There we go. Oh, oh, there we go. It's fixed. Yeah, the yeah problem is now that the weavers, the weavers are, are kind of broken now. So we've still got, just don't, don't upgrade those weavers. Yes, well we can't. The thing is, I can put down a tapestry weaver. Do you see what I mean? We got a spare one, have we? Yeah. I uh, texted on me. I can put down it. Oh, sorry. I could just upgrade this to a tech. Oh, no, I can't upgrade that. We don't want to upgrade that because we want to keep the weaver. That's our only source of cloth. Yeah. It just assumes you don't use cloth for anything else. Hmm. I think that might be bug. Or something we haven't found yet. Because we've got a textile mill. We've upgraded one to the textile mill, which is the problem. No, I've just, I just built the textile mill. That's fine. Oh, you just built it? Yeah, okay. because then we can use the other two flax that we just built. Oh, right, yeah. Right. And we're getting some more wealth. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's kind of annoying that you can't use the the um, textiles to make tapestries. It is a bit weird. But I think it's okay. I mean, we've obviously got a lot of our guys working on food and tapestries here to make ridiculous amounts of... Um, arts XP. <laughs> arts XP. Which is a bit weird. Because at least here we built the sawmill. Do you know what I mean? Whereas here we didn't mm. really build. We could have. We could probably get the sawmill, but instead I think we've got these guys making it into paper, haven't we? We do, yeah. Paper maker. You've got two paper makers and a religious <laughs> scribe making. Well, we had to. Texts. We had to decide. Like we. This was a rush job because we had to get that 
I had to get that faith. Well, it's barely making enough religious faith, honestly, to keep the city going. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And we need another it's midden. It's a big city, though. It's new size 20. We need a, we need a, we need a second midden. You can work a guy on that one. Yeah, but who's spare? Um, Everyone's busy. Right, these guys are locked in. Busy. The tapestry stuff stopped in. The ranch, I guess. A large plantation you can take guy off, probably. The large... Which one? The, um... This one. That's not really oh, used for anything, right. is it? Oh, you're That one's not being used. All right, fine. We can put an extra guy in here. That's all right. That... Or we could just build another midden. I mean, fuck it. We've got space, right? Yeah, true. Slap down another midden heap. That's the third midden heap in here. <laughs> Memphis is massive. It's vast. <laughs> they were creating all this waste. Okay, fine. I guess that's how we're rolling. No, okay. That's good to me. It's gonna keep growing. Thing is, like, we're doing all this stuff to grow it, but do we even want to grow it? Is the question. It's getting, it's getting too big. Oh, it can't be too big. What are you talking about? <laughs> There's no such thing. Let's go and get the deep forest scouting. Sorry, I know it's a oh. bit weird. It costs it's zero. You really, zero you really want to go through the the, the scary well, forest? Well, I can't land this guy otherwise. Because <laughs> we're sort of trapped in this stupid river. Oh, there's, a, there's a there's an inlet there. I want to just I want to just secure this sector. Um, all right, keep coming. Armies are stomping forwards towards glory. We mostly upgraded all our peasants now, except for the ones that are in the sea. Oh no, there's these there's these guys. There's a bunch of them need upgrading, mm. but. We're getting there. I think. I think that it's just such a big frontier. Um, Great Barrier Reef. Uh, do we want to? Hey, oh, take the risk. Of one day it's not going to pay off. <laughs> there was a shark in the Great Barrier Reef. One day it won't pay off. The shark. More peasants here. Okay, more knights here. Yeah, let's just fight your way through these knights and see what we can find. So much crap! Oh my goodness. Birmingham's built the Grand Theatre, which is great. And we can get the throne room. Yeah, that gives us more government XP. Hmm. At least Birmingham's able to build stuff. Yeah. It's one of the few places on our empire that actually builds things. Um. There's some. Bob's coming Bob's through, coming the, through the forest. <laughs> okay, they're scouting, finally. I think we get a free scout for that, Duncan. Oh, cool. Um, navigation. navigation. Oh, what's the uh, special age, by the way, here? Uh, crisis charges heresy. Age of alchemy. Needs five. Is that exploration? Social, Social fabric, fabric insight? insight? I think that might be exploration. Right, God. And this one just, a is just enlightenment. Yeah, I've got a scout now. Free scout. You can upgrade them to an explorer. How does the heresy one trigger? Uh, I assume something to do with probably religion. Although I don't know. Which one of these do we want? Government XP from vassals? Hmm, vassals generate government Hell. XP. Hell yeah. That sounds really good. How much do we get now? Oh wow, we gone. We get oh, sixteen per turn now instead of five. Wow, <laughs> that's actually so <laughs> that's much enormous. government XP, <laughs> and that'll let us put all the other things in here yeah, real yeah, quicker. Yeah. Oh yes. Okay. Check how you check how you trigger the heresy thing. Oh sure, 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 sure. Um, it is crisis heresy charges. charges. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's something Heresy. to do with, like, having a different religion in your town. So if there's, like, a lot of religious wars, then it, it triggers the Age of Heresy. Maybe? Cool. We need to check out... It's funny how we, like, we we killed everyone, and now we got, like, nothing to do with all this... You know, we can't trade or do any of this stuff anymore. Don't worry. We'll, we'll finish off these barbs, then we'll go across the sea to Rome. Mm. We'll take a foothold and then we can spawn like envoys over there and stuff. Do diplomacy, we'll get the uh, the thing trigger. The social f the tolerance. Oh, oh it's, it's 300 now. now. Oh, it goes up inch each time, does it? Mm, it's possible that since we just raised the cap, it is now that high. 
Oh. Uh. Yeah, well, I guess to get five of those is pretty challenging unless you've got a very specific build for it. Yeah, really. What are these guys? Peasants? Peasants. They're fighting. Well, we're going to send them in. Yeah, they can be knights now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, and then these peasants. Got so many knights. These peasants have got a land. And these peasants are here as well. He's got to come around the side, sneak round. Hello? These are all so many boatloads of boys. Yeah. <laughs> There's war there as well. It's our army of Spartans. The Great Barrier Reef, okay. 40% 40 40 chance. Oh, the shark got us. This gives us our XP as well. Oh. oh Sorry, we'll start it again. We've got another guy somewhere, right? I don't know if we can do it on the same one. Oh, maybe you can. Yeah, it's like a guy from the Great Canyon. Grand Canyon. Alright. We need Explosion XP to do these things, unfortunately. We Did we think. find El Dorado in the end? Uh, no. Well, I think that was in the Grand Canyon. Yeah. So we haven't we, done it yet. finished? No. Well, okay. we haven't got enough to do very much exploring, I'm afraid. We're mm. just sort of fighting instead. Let's clear out all these barbs, because I just want to get them dead. Then we can, like, move on with our fucking lives. I feel like we've got to a point now where, like, our army is, like, the same size as a Civ army, but each army is four guys. Yeah, it's much quicker, actually. Alright, lots of random attacks happening. Okay, peasants, you can go in and try and kill these. Ooh. Did okay. Good job, peasants. Didn't quite get your promotion, but... I need to do two combats, I think. Oh, wow. Hmm, what's this bit? Mm, yeah, this is this is a new bit. What do we think? Some of those, some of those guys right to go on it. On where? On that little island slip. Well, are these peasants? Yeah, I want to land to fight yeah. them. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to move my knights. I'm going to keep all my knights in place. And these are Spartans. These guys, I think, have killed... All the peasants in the north are promoted. It's just the southern... Mm. The southern the legions southern that aren't promoted. All right, cool. It's so funny sending, like... Oh, there's a whole lot of barbs there. <sighs> send in like a load of peasants and then like they just turn into better fucking amazing units. It's just so funny. Oh, it's such a cool idea to, to <laughs> dub them. I'm, I'm <laughs> honestly shocked that all of them turn into it. But I guess it's because yeah. we've got so many. It's mad.